friends, how are ya? Welcome back to my channel for another Texas vlog. The last Texas vlog was last weekend and then I took kind of the week off filming to, you know, deal with things and it's the weekend again and it's Friday and I'm just really making it a priority to make weekends joyful and happy and vlogging really encourages me to do that. I don't, I, I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm like, let's do something fun together. And then doing that raises my spirits too. So I'm really happy you're here. We have a fun weekend ahead. Today's Friday. My dad is actually at a race or something with some of his friends in Austin. I really don't know. But my mom and I are having a girl's day. We're actually gonna go get pedicures and coffee. And we might go to the nursery and pick out some vegetables for her new garden that I showed you in last week's vlog. And then tomorrow I'm seeing one of my dear high school friends who's um, one of my bridesmaids. I love her so much. And Sunday I am going to Austin. So I'm going to take you along all three days. And I'm just so happy you're here. We're actually leaving in 10 minutes to go to our nail appointment. So wanted to say hello before we head on out. Let's do it. So I thought it was going to be fall in Texas <laughs> and it was not. And I packed like two short sleeve shirts and boots and tennies and you know like fall stuff yeah and i don't have sandals and mom was like i have sandals and look she has burks she didn't think i had anything cute i <laughs> okay i didn't think you had nothing cute but i'm just surprised you're like this on trend oh, and i've had it for a couple of years wow i know who, who knew ahead of the time here let's see how they look with my outfit oh, i actually think they look super cute on you yeah yeah <laughs> As you saw, we got pedicures. Thanks, mom, for treating us to that. So sweet. Um, I got like a, a fierce blood red. <laughs> We're gonna call it a fall red, not a blood red. And then we tried a coffee shop that I hadn't been to yet called Black Rifle Coffee Company. It was so sweet. The general manager is a subscriber and she was the sweetest. So I wanna say hi, Jordy. Thank you for being so sweet. Our plans are we're actually gonna go check out an antique store in Bernie that I've never been to. Have you been to it? Maybe once, it's been a long time. And I'm excited to see it. So we're gonna check that out real quick and then go get vegetables for mom's vegetable garden. What are the top three vegetables you're hoping to get? Mm. You said asparagus. No, I just read more about asparagus. You don't get a crop for two to three years. Oh, <laughs> yes. Broccoli maybe? Broccoli. Some lettuces, mm -hmm. spinach, kale. Mm-hmm. Swiss chard. Leafy greens. Those are some mm -hmm. good ones. Do you yeah. think that the nursery will have all that? Uh, yes. Excited to find <laughs> out with you. <laughs> We're at the antique mall, as you can tell by the window. It's bright, but there's already so many cool things out here, and I'm excited to go see what's inside. What even What even do you think this is? That looks like an, an ice? old ice <gasps> box. Wow. That's so cool. <laughs> Apparently, this is a glove box, and it is fabulous but it's hundred and twenty five dollars what would I use this for like let's say this was ten dollars and I bought it what could you use this for that wasn't a glove box mm. jewelry watches I don't yeah. know I've been on the hunt for the perfect vintage painting and there's so many here um, for you know like a hundred dollars give or take and then I saw one and I was like that's the one and we go look at the price and it's fifteen hundred dollars so it's not the one like it's cracking because it's old, but it's a real oil painting. Ugh, if only it was in my budget. I love it. Pulling up to the nursery to find some vegetables. Yeah. Wow, we're really living our best lives, aren't we? <laughs> That's what happens when you hang out with somebody over 50. Hey, my favorite things are soup and scrabble. I think I fit right in. <laughs> I know. I don't know if it's so loud in here with the fans, but this whole tent is all uh, vegetables. Broccoli, Brussels sprouts. <gasps> the Brussels sprouts are so cute. Cabbage, red cabbage, cauliflower. Wow. I didn't even know this was a thing, but they sell salad mixes of greens. So this apparently has, I'm reading the sign right here, arugula, endive, red kale, red and green romaine, salad bowl, and Lola Rosa lettuce, all in one little pot. So if you just plant a ton of those, toast. Salad mix, I guess. You're good. You're good. Unless the deer get them. Unless the deer get them. Highly likely. So far, mom's starting with salad mix, 
Swiss chard, red and green, and broccoli. That's a good start. So we're actually picking up my grandparents to go get pizza in like an hour, but I missed lunch because we were out and about and I'm really hungry. So as a little snack, I made an experiment. It's avocado toast with like a kale pesto on top. I don't know if pesto and avocado toast go well together, but we're gonna try it. That's really good. Someone else should try it and comment if you like it. Maybe I'm going too far here. <laughs> Before we leave in like 30 minutes, mom's gonna plant her vegetables. So cue a possibly very satisfying garden montage. Good morning, it is Saturday and I woke up earlier than I normally do because my parents are, um, they just left at like 8 a.m. to go out of town for the weekend for a friend's birthday. So I have the house to myself this weekend, which is, which is odd. It's, part of me is like, it's good because it's good to have like some space, but then the other part of me is like, until I get that space and then I'm like, wait, where is everybody? So I am gonna have a chill morning, catch up on some things like laundry, finally wash my hair, repaint my nails and um, do some computer work. But I wanted to show you, it's, it's already going away rapidly, but it was so foggy this morning and it was kind of magical, I'll show you. Now you can see down in like the canyon a lot better, but you, you really couldn't even just 10 minutes ago. But it looks cool when it's like a gloomy, foggy day. I don't know how long it'll last like this, but I like it. So it is about noon. I did laundry, did a ton of computer work. Did not have a chance to paint my nails yet, but did shower and get ready. And I'm about to go into town to meet one of my best friends at the Dinger, which I think I think a sip and thrift came out before this vlog and it's honestly one of the cutest coffee shops on Main Street and Bernie. And as I was driving through Bernie, I was looking at the little gazebo in downtown or on Main Street, it's not even really a downtown, and I was like, the gazebo actually has Gilmore Girl vibes. That's something good. <laughs> I'm on the second to last episode of Gilmore Girls and I've been watching just like 10 minutes at a time because I don't want it to be over. But that's the plan. <laughs> we went on a tangent. That's okay. We are off into town on a beautiful, sunny, 78 degree Saturday morning. Put a pen on my desk There's a way for the muse to come But I can't seem to hear I got home from seeing Madison and made another pesto avocado toast like yesterday because it was so good. And I have a few hours before I head back out. I don't know if this is helpful to anyone to share just to make people feel less alone, but it's just so odd to me how when you're going through something that's emotionally difficult, how rapidly you can swing between being very okay and just very suddenly being not okay. <laughs> it sucks and it's hard. And I wish someone out there would say that to where I could hear it so that I feel less alone. So I'm just gonna be the person to say it in case someone else is out there going between okay and very not okay. I'm gonna eat my avocado toast and rest for a while and um, fuel back up for going out to see more friends. 
happy Sunday. Um, I am in a dark parking garage in Austin. I didn't end up vlogging the rest of the day because I honestly just felt very anxious and didn't feel like I would be my vlogging self. Um, I am repeating an outfit from earlier in this vlog because I did not pack too much clothes to come home. I kind of created a little capsule wardrobe, which has been fun, but I would say I brought three, two or three short sleeve shirts and then several sweaters and long sleeve shirts. And it is, it's getting in the eighties today. So I've just been recycling my short sleeve shirts over and over, but I'm going to meet my friend Monica who just had a baby. I'm going to meet baby Ellie for brunch. And then I'm meeting up with my parents a little bit later here in Austin. So I'm probably going to leave this big camera in the car and we're going to do one more montage of a rainy Sunday in Austin. So here's my Austin montage. home from Austin. I'm sorry I didn't vlog much there. I was having a really good time catching up with my friend Monica and I'm just trying to be more gentle on myself when I don't feel like filming. I don't even know where the uh, yard work is coming from because in this deep valley down here you can hear anything that happens at all these houses. I think th this house down here was rolling in its garbage cans the other day and I could hear it like it was right here. It's really interesting how sound echoes. It is golden hour here. It is so pretty. I love it when the sun like creeps over the hill and it's all just shaded over here. I love this house. <laughs> you think my parents would let me pay rent here and just stay here forever? I don't know, but I wanted to make sure before I ended the vlog that I say I love you. Thank you for being here. While vlogging this vlog, the last vlog has come out and um, just reading all the kind of supportive comments, even though y'all have no idea what's going on, means a lot. Um, and thank you for dealing with me and my fluctuating emotions and my fluctuating motivation. I'm coming to the realization that sometimes I'm gonna, I'm gonna have seasons that sometimes I'm not productive and that is okay because my value is not based in productivity. In some seasons you have to rest, and that is this season right now. Rest, heal, recover, reflect. Lots of R's. <laughs> I love y'all with my whole heart. Thanks for spending another vlog with me and another weekend with me and doing happy things that bring joy to my heart. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Talking to you, here we go again. Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here?